Hi there, welcome to Scratch Challenge number seven for 2017-18. Um, for this site, your uh, this month's Scratch Challenge, what you're going to do is you're going to make a probability spinner. To that, I've created a YouTube video that I'm also providing a link to right now on how to create the actual circle and then the sections or the colored sections of the circle to kind of help you out with that. But what you're going to do is basically code a spinner. I've coded mine that when I click on it, it spins the spinner. Um, it generates a random amount of time that the spinner will spin for. And then once it's past that point, the spinner stops. And this right here is our indicator, so it kind of shows us or picks what the color is. So there's our picker, and whenever this is touching, is counted. So you can see we got one. So I spin it again. It's going to spin for 6.06 .06 seconds. And then once it's done, it says red. And tallies number two there. My total spins is located right here. This is kind of extra information that I just thought would be valuable to display. That one pink. The other thing I've also coded in here is a R reset button. So the R key resets all these values back to zero and the total spins to zero. And the C key, if I press the C key, you can see it changes my spinner type. One thing to note, and I will show this in my code, is you can see all my different costumes look very similar. I use the same color scheme for my costumes. This keeps my coding simple. And it, as I put in the challenge, you can see right here, I gave the advice of putting this code inside my picker. I used the colors red, blue, pink, and green in the creation of my spinner. If you wanted to use more colors, you would just add more of these blocks of code and then you'd change that color right there and whatever you clicked on would become that new color. So that's how you would kind of be able to add different colors and adjust the colors for your spinner. So create some probability spinners, play with some probabilities and see if your theoretical probability matches your experimental probability. Take care and enjoy.